It's a book that covers all of the currently available um, renewable energy technologies and it shows how to install them in step-by-step -step detail. Passionate interest in the subject. It, it just felt so natural. Um, when we, we kind of built and extended our house all those years ago, the house was done to very high standards of insulation. I actually, went, I remember going to Dudley Library as a, a young man and looking up the Swedish insulation standards of the time. And I was amazed to find that you could insulate a house far uh, better than anything that was done in this country for not very much cost at all. I just couldn't understand why it wasn't done everywhere. So we built the house and we built about three quarters of it. The original part was a small stone section uh, to Swedish standards at very little extra cost. And it turns out that those standards are about the same as the basic standards required today for insulating a house. So in that sense, the Swedes and, and us, I hope, were 30, 40 years ahead of, of the Brits. Nothing new in that. Um, and then we got to the stage where it, it made sense to take it a stage further and start generating our own electricity and heat. So we've got a ground source heat pump. We looked at air source heat pumps, decided against it. We've got solar panels heating the hot water on the roof. We've got loads of solar panels producing electricity. Um, so with that interest, it just made perfect sense to, to bring it all together into a book. It's what I do, I write books, and I like it informing people, I like enthusing people, hopefully. And it's, it, it's an area of great enthusiasm. And I didn't feel that there was, there was sufficient information already out there. I, I'd like to think that this book gives people a very practical, hands-on view. And bearing in mind what I said earlier about people reading manuals for the pleasure of it, this book shows people exactly what, what's involved in, in, in installing ground source heat pump or solar PV or whatever the technology is, so that even if they don't want to physically do it themselves, they can see how it should be done and what's involved. This is the first book which has the same approach, if you like, as the restoration manuals in, in breaking all of the work down into step-by-step -step jobs and showing how all the work is carried out. And I think it's probably the first book that includes all the current available technologies. And I also think it may be the only one that gives, if you like, the truth, that tells the downsides as well as the upsides. I've, tried to do that. Installing ground source heat pump, for instance, is a massive undertaking. You you lose your garden for 12 months at least, uh, if you're installing it in a garden. If you're lucky enough to, to be a farmer with a huge field, that doesn't, doesn't apply. But for most people, the disruption of installing certain technologies is much greater than for others. So that needs to be borne in mind when you're deciding which ones to, to install. Uh, the key features of the book are that it shows people step by step what's involved in carrying out the work so they can decide for themselves whether it's the sort of thing they want to have done or not. And in a few cases, some people will want to actually carry out the work themselves. Um, it, it's difficult with legislation, but you can do it. You can't always apply for the grants and get feedback tariffs and so on, but you can do the work if you're sufficiently well qualified. So at least if you wanted to, it could show you how to do it.